Hey everyone and welcome back. So today we have another idiotic BuzzFeed video. I think it's probably best if I say as little as possible about this thing. It's better if you just discover it all by yourselves. So let's take a look. Enjoy. I remember the first time I saw her, I felt like I'd known her my whole life. I kind of fell in love with her. Couldn't wait to see her again and again. And they took her away. Oh my God, what happened? She showed me what a loving relationship actually looked like. I miss her every day. Not even magic can bring her back. I'm so sorry for your loss, ma'am. When she found happiness, it gave me hope, you know? And then it all ended. Whoa, 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 wait a minute here, hold up. You're talking about fictional characters, aren't you? You just can't make this shit up. So we now have campaigns advocating for fictional characters. Are you fucking insane? I am affected. I am affected. I am affected. No, you're triggered. That's what you are. Since 1976, 65% of all queer female television characters have died. Oh, I saw what you did there. You tried to hide the disclaimer down in the corner, but I saw it. Salon.com is not a research <laughs> institute. It's a fucking propaganda media outlet. Kind of like Fox, but for the other side, and infinitely smaller. You think you're gonna find objectivity there? And here's a little nugget of information you might enjoy. All real people, all 100% of them, are gonna die. No one gets out alive. According to autostraddle.com, in 2015 alone, 24 queer female characters have been killed on television. <laughs> My God. You wanna know how many straight guys died? Fucking millions. Already in 2016, there have been 12 deaths. For fuck's sake, you guys! You make it sound like it's real people we're talking about. With all the shit going down in the world, this is what you're going with? How many more? Who cares? How many more? Who cares? How many more? Who cares? How many more? Who the fuck cares? We deserve better. And you define better as being treated like special snowflakes even in fiction, huh? So we wanted to give the writers out there some more options for their queer female characters. Hey, moron! Fucking moron! You want to know what writers are going to think about that? They're going to say, fuck having queer people in our show because these special snowflakes will never be happy no matter what we do. Great going there, morons, making yourselves impossible to work with for writers. Like just not killing them, maybe. Or how about if the script requires them to die, they die. Or you could have that stray bullet miss them and hit someone else or change. <laughs> Give them an identical twin. Oh, so like a special snowflake parachute for queer characters. Have them get their master's degree. That can take them out of it like a season or two. Oh, oh, so the goal is to get them off screen? Okay. They pull a grind muscle just from wonderful sex. Ooh, lesbian sex, mmm. Why not a gay ghost? I would love to be haunted by a lesbian. Uh, maybe it's not a ghost story, asshole. Let their spirit live inside a cat. Aren't you guys supposed to fight stereotypes? I knew that if there was a cat in here, you'd be the one to bring it up. Have them go to a carnival. Yes, Commander Lexa went to a carnival. She'll be riding the roller coaster for the rest of this series. Happy now? They can grow old and have a family and a dog and sit on a porch and drink iced tea. Do you think that would make for good TV? I think that would make for great TV. <laughs> well, you're a fucking moron. Please. 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 Stop, stop killing, killing queer, queer female, female characters. characters. Okay, there is no way in hell that I'll believe that this is representative of the LGBT community. So if you're part of the LGBT community and you're watching this video, Please, for the love of God, give me a shout out in the comments and let me know that this is not representative of your community. Anyway, that concludes our show for tonight, so thanks for watching and see you next time.